Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Thursday, October 21st. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, it's a straight shot. Hymn is at 713. Our first antiphon, 733 onwards. Canticle, 620. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn number 4, 748 for the first antiphon onwards, 691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storm of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God, may God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions. Who would devour the sons of men? Their teeth are spears and arrows. Their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare from my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Awake, awake lyre and harp, with, with praise let us awake the dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He who guards them a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen, they themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. 
I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priest, and my people shall be filled with my blessing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My, my people, people, says the Lord, Lord will, will be filled with my blessings. blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, through Paul of the earth, the great king city, God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, they, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east winds you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice as the sight of your judgment. Walk through Zion. Walk all around it. Count the numbers of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God is forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is great, great and, and worthy, worthy to be praised in the city of our God. God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, The heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? My hand made all this when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We are builders. God gave us the minds to be creative. God gave us the resources to use. God gave us the skill to build. We are created by God to build. Our complex minds have that God-given ability to build great things by God's blessings. We are created to build God's kingdom on earth. God is able to bless the work of our hands. This is truth. In the mo There is truth in that movie, Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. If we build according to God's plan, they will come. They will listen. If we build as Jesus taught us, through him, man can be saved save from our sins if we build today in the challenging times we can experience god's kingdom of heaven here on earth from the depths of my heart i cry to you hear me O god from, from the, the depths, depths of, of my heart, heart I, I cry to you hear me O god Lord. i will do what you desire Hear me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the depths, depths of, of my the heart, heart, I cry to you, you. Hear, hear me, O Lord. Lord. 
Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation in by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us to serve, serve the Lord in holiness, in holiness and, and He will save, save us from, from our enemies. enemies. The Lord Jesus Christ has given us the light of another day. In return, we thank him as we cry out, Lord, Lord bless, bless us and bring us close to you. You offered yourself in sacrifice for our sins. Accept, Accept our, our intentions and our work today. today. You bring us joy by the light of another day. Let the morning star rise in our hearts. Give us strength to be patient with those we meet today. And, and so imitate you. Make us aware of your mercy this morning, Lord. And, and let your strength be our delight. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, Lord, Lord bless, bless us, us and bring, bring us close to you. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O powerful and ever-living God, at morning, noon, and evening we pray, cast out from our hearts the darkness of sin and bring us to the light of your truth. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May, May the Lord bless, bless us, protect us from all evil, evil and bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.